Okay, guys, just a quick uh, real-world preview of the uh, 7 Artisan 85mm f1.8. For the most part, I love it. Only two issues, okay, as you can see here, the first is the autofocus. It does sometimes, seems to be, yeah, it's going to go back and forth just a little bit. Very, although very, very extremely rarely before it finds its focus and locks on its target. Uh, it's uh, there so I am currently in video mode and you can see and this is even more pronounced especially when you first turn on the camera because the focus automatically resets when you turn off and on the camera it doesn't stay in the same place so you're gonna have something like yeah just like that okay that is one and number two when you have uh, the camera uh, the lens shot to a bright source of light for example as you can see here okay, I have this light bulb right here and when I tilt down my camera you're gonna see some leakage of uh, lights as you can see okay, I'm gonna go down here and there okay you see that now that is actually quite a lot okay there you see that white blobs over on the left side of the screen and there's the light and when I tilt the camera down it's gonna be there yeah okay so you can see working against bright sunlight or bright source of light is gonna give you that uh, extreme I could say uh, it's quite it's noticeable for the most part and uh, some might argue what happens when you put on the lens hood and I have lens hood right here I'm gonna put it on right now and as you can also see there's the light bulb when I tilt the camera down away from the light and there it is still there okay so having that uh, having that um, um, uh, lens hood doesn't really do much of a thing when it comes to this especially when the light source is in front of the lens maybe if somewhere on your side or the lens's side it would do better but if it's in front of you then you're going to be uh, experiencing this still okay so there there as you can see there there but personally guys when I shot portraits I actually like that a bit because it does seems to flare up the sunlight into the scene to the sides of the lenses uh, when it happens in the middle yeah it's a bit of problematic but if I tell her if I adjust my camera position to go so that so that the uh, blob of uh, contrasty lights is on the side as you can see here at the edge of my frame it actually adds to the ambient especially especially during uh, maybe uh, sunsets or sunrises there will be a very beautiful orange glow somewhere inside the frame so that actually helps a lot I like the look now but uh, as far as real world usage is concerned those are the two things that I find probably uh, the only issue that is probably you know good or bad depends on you how you use it how you shoot it uh, but for me yeah two noticeable thing that does sometimes bug uh, my shots okay so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in my next video i will be posting more uh, videos and photos coming out of this lens because personally i love it guys i despite all this i love it it's good and it's really good okay and if you guys want to see more photos coming from this lens later on you can follow my instagram i will be putting on some of some uh, photos sample photos some sample videos from this particular lens as well okay so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in my next video